mystery puzzle day. Again, we're really on a kick of this, but uh, yeah, I think this is actually a bit of a harder one. So I am gonna be really interested to see what Casey bets me today. Let's get into it. Mystery day. Oh, I really like doing these mystery puzzles. Like it's kind of fun to keep you guys in the dark, to be honest. Like I, I don't know, I mean, I look forward to the day when we can go to secondhand stores again because I really just want to pick up puzzles in the hopes of finding ones like this that people have just donated because I would love a true mystery. And actually there's a series of puzzles that I would really like to do for this channel eventually. It's just a matter of like the world is in such a weird state right now that it's so hard to, to get everything going with like shipping and in stock and all that. It's coming. Be patient, guys. There are really unique things on the way. It's just a shipping crazy world out there. Like, woo! <laughs> Anyways, I do have to say about this one though, I would consider it a harder puzzle myself. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one in like the 35 minutes that y'all are getting kind of used to. But, Time Master, what you thinking? You say it's hard, but I think that's a mind game. I think you're... No, I'm actually... This is a harder puzzle as far as 500 pieces go. Okay, like five more minutes harder? Ten more minutes harder? I wonder how I timed it. Um... Seven more minutes harder? <laughs> I'm trying to visualize the puzzle in my head. Um... 43 minutes. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's pretty on par with what I, I was going to say, maybe five minutes harder or something like that. You were probably going to go with like 30, 37 ish, 35 I type 37, range. Cause oh, it's, <laughs> hey, it's like I read your mind. Yeah, okay, yeah. 43 minutes for a harder 500 piece puzzle. That's actually crazy if you think about it. That puts my average between like 35, 45 minutes. That's pretty nuts for 500 pieces. Anyways, guys, let's get into it. 43 minutes. How long does this take? I have no idea. <laughs> Hopefully, like 42 minutes <laughs> is my hope. Cause um, I'm really afraid of those hot beans. I am, they're like this weird torture. I'll say it again and again, it's like eating fire. If anyone out there enjoys eating fire, if you're a fire eater in your spare time, one of them people that can like juggle the sticks and do really cool things, I am by far not coordinated enough to do that. That would go very badly and the village would burn. And I would probably end up in the hospital at least with burns. You know, maybe a concussion from hitting myself in the head with whatever it was I lit on fire and decided, I'm gonna throw this. <laughs> Which actually you can attest to my terrible throwing ability based on what it happened is, at the old puzzle. It's true. She <laughs> can't throw to save her life. Not even right next to me. It's like if, if, um, actually, in grade school, I think it was, we were playing Ultimate Frisbee for Jim, and I meant to throw it forwards, as you do when you're playing a sport, and my aim was so off that I actually ended up throwing it behind myself <laughs> to hit someone in the ankle with it. That even... <laughs> I don't know. That's an excellent question. How do you almost break someone's hand playing badminton? You, you release on the back and not the best. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm not good at sports. My hand-eye coordination is almost zero. And, oh yes, and I almost gave someone a concussion playing volleyball once, because I'm I'm a powerhouse. Like, I, I have absolutely no direction whatsoever, but I have a crap load of power. Um, and I went to serve, and they made me serve overhand, which again is how I almost broke someone's hand in badminton. They made me serve in a way that I was just not good at, and I tried to tell them, don't make me do that, this is gonna go badly. They didn't listen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> on the ground someone went, <laughs> like, well, <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> Very limited options with me in sports. 
You can either clear the field so there's no one around for me to hurt. <laughs> and maybe it's safe for me to do that. Or just maybe, perhaps, just let me do it the way I'm comfortable with and regardless of whether I'm doing it right or not. Oh well. <laughs> the effort's there. guys oh, 22 minutes and I have what do you say 43 43 you you always say that as there's less pieces it gets faster I, yeah I do but I know this is a harder puzzle and I don't how confident do you feel I feel like I'm gonna get screwed again do you really because the last one I thought it was good and you still came in uh, two minutes under all right, well then take the timer away from me and hide the the time. That way I can't crank it at the last minute. I mean, yeah, I probably- You're gonna crank it from now. Don't sure, I probably should have done that all along. I know, I'm sorry. Honestly, I kind of forgot. I wish there was a way, can you, you can see that, right? Um, yes and no, like the, the angle it's set at, I don't see it as well. It's just hard for the camera to figure out. Mm -hmm. At a certain angle, all you see is the dates of it. Right. That, that's pretty, yeah, I can't see anything now. It's just, uh...
not feeling good about the time. Somehow I feel like it's been a really long time now that I can't see the timer. And that drives me crazy. I can't explain it, but my mind wanders a lot to like, I wonder what the timer says. I wonder what the timer says. trust you though like you could be getting in my head it says uh oh <sighs> it says oh, it should have been a 53 minute nap. <sighs> i told you it's a harder puzzle <sighs> you didn't believe me you thought i was lying to you i thought you were trying to set me up well i was being honest that hates me and I'm sure eat a hot jelly bean. <laughs> Bam! Hard puzzle. Done. He thought I was lying to him. I was not lying. This is a legitimately harder puzzle. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to describe why I think it's harder. Um, it's like, I don't know, something just don't click in my brain as much when I look at the pieces in this one versus like a dolphin or something like that. It's, I don't... I don't even know how to describe how it's different, but I can tell when I'm seeing it, it's different. And there's definitely that certain level of frustration that comes in that I just, uh, there's something about the art style that throws me a little bit. Um, and I'm not really sure what it is, but it's there. It's an interesting experiment. It's science. It's weird science. That being said, the bet was 43 minutes. I kind of knew I, I was taking a chance. It was a high rolling one. Oh, I knew, I knew I would have to spin the wheel. It just simply does not like me. I think it gives me hot beans like every time. Like what the heck he can get like the regular beans and all that. And I'm just like, nope, hot beans, here we go. The question is how many? And I, I don't know if I said it, I came in at 48 minutes. I got so distracted thinking about this awful <laughs> apparatus over here. Um, if the wheel falls on the floor, that counts as like, I spun it. It don't matter that it didn't come up as anything, all right? So like, I, I think I should break it. It's funny, I actually wasn't trying to break it. Ah! Look, you see, it hates me, it hates me. It's I'm only, telling you. It's only one B. Yeah, but sure, like it still hates me. It could have been like, it could have gone like to here. It and then it, it yeah, I know. What's, what's the matter with this thing? Like, come on, really? Oh, one bean. It's gonna be the ghost hopper. I can see it in the thing. Oh. Oh, there is a little chamber that you can see what's in the chamber. Yeah. Why does it hate me? Why does this hate me? Why does this hate me? I made this. I gave this wheel life. And it's like, Heh! you know what? It's like an ungrateful child. It is, it's like a child. They just take and take and take and take. And they're like, thanks for giving me life. Tee hee. Now, money, food, things, needy, needy, greedy. Oh. oh your choice. Well, the one... Or blindfolded and described, like... <laughs> this was the first one in the chamber, if I'll be okay. honest. Unlike was, some people, was... some people would just eat the jalapeno and call yep. it a day. Yep. 
Yep, look at that, <laughs> see? Um, if we all did that, there would be no jalapeno left in there, and then where would we be? <laughs> so this is how I end up eating ghost pepper. Well, actually, I don't know, it might be sriracha, because there's sriracha in there, too. And it's supposed isn't... to be orange, though. Or... But there's, no. cayenne, there's cayenne pepper. Habanero is the orange, though. Oh, that's right. No, yeah. It, the, yes, maybe. But and, and the ghost pepper is the one with the cracks in it that's, like, light, isn't it? I don't know. That one I had that was, like, that, it, like just... Sriracha shouldn't be... That's the weakest one. The sriracha is the weakest one. Oh, for wimps, it's still, it was, it was like, sriracha, level five. It was sriracha, it was sriracha <laughs> then jalapeno, then cayenne, then habanero. And ghost. Ghost. It just hits like, boom. Mm. <sighs> ah! <laughs> I swallowed fire. <laughs> oh! It's, I know. It's one of those things where you can. You know when people are like, I know what you're feeling, and you're like, No, you don't. I, I know, know, but I don't care. I need to go drink like four <laughs> cups of water. I know what you're feeling. All right, you guys. I still feel like there's fire in my mouth. Like this whole side is. And I ate that on purpose. <laughs> I had a lot of hope that it would be the low one. Um, <laughs> I will say, when I go and I chug like my glasses of water, um, juice actually seems to work better than water. Like the fire's coming back. But it's not as quick. Like I find after I finish drinking the water, it's like ah, it's still <laughs> ah, it's not stopping. Mm. Yeah, it's not stopping right now. But oh, I swallowed fire. <laughs> I swallowed fire for you guys. Ah, uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> Can you put a fire extinguisher? Is that toxic? Will that kill me? Yes. Are you sure? Could you check? <laughs> <laughs> Let's experiment. <laughs> Maybe it's only in high doses. <laughs> uh, anyways, I lost my train of thought. The fire distracted me. Oh. I don't like my, my train of thought went off like into nowhere land. Oh, whoo. Uh, anyways, you guys, fire. Don't eat ghost pepper. Just don't do it. Don't, don't. You're a lunatic if you like that kind of stuff. I'm throwing that out there right now. You are. You're just, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. That's like, that's how it is. That is. Anyways, thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Woo!